Hey, what's going on? Um, hey, we got this quiz review right here, 3.1 through 3.5. Um, I had to add one more deal here. We're adding, subtracting polynomials, multiplying polynomials. We got binomial expansion, polynomial long division, and synthetic division with me, this guy. All right. Hey, hopes this help. Let's get started. All right, so let me zoom in here so we can get started. Uh, first off, right here, what we have is uh, complete all the parts of the following function. A test work to a sub sheet of paper. All right, so let's, let's go ahead and dig in, man. Standard form. Remember, standard form is writing these, this polynomial in descending order according to the um, exponents. So we right here, the largest one I see is uh, three, so negative three x cubed minus x squared uh, plus four x plus five. All right, now there's a standard form. What's the degree? Well, three right here, this is the degree. The leading coefficient, what's the leading coefficient? Negative three. Um, the name, this is cubic. So cubic, and there's more than three terms. One, two, three, four. So there's more than three terms, so we call it a polynomial. And number of terms, there are four terms. Over here, um, standard form. All right, standard form, three, two, oh, well, this one, four x and four. plus x cubed minus 2x squared plus 3x plus 6. The degree is going to be 4. The leading coefficient is 4. Um, the name, this is going to be a quartic polynomial. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 terms all right all right next right here says use the substitution to evaluate when x is negative one so we have negative i'm excuse me, negative eight and we're going to have the coefficients of two there's no x squared so zero there is no um oh there's an x so negative eight and then negative four right so three two one zero all right, so anyway, bring down my first term, 2. So 2 times negative 8 is negative 16. 0 minus 16 is negative 16. Negative 16 times negative 8 is going to be a, is going to be negative, um, one, excuse me, it's going to be positive 128. So 128 minus 8, or negative 8 plus 128 is going to be 120. And 120 times negative 8, guys, is going to be um, negative 960. And negative 960, negative 4 minus 960 is negative 964. So this one, we have, so negative 964 is the solution. All right, we're going to write f of negative 8. Alright, so I'm going to go over to the line and write f of negative 8. Oops, good night, that's a terrible 8. f of negative 8 equals negative 964. Alright, now it says use synthetic division to evaluate, alright? Synthetic substitution, so again, x is 3. So we have 2. There's no x cubed, so we put 0 in this place. Then there's a three, and then there's no single x, so we put zero in this place, and then we have negative nine, okay? So I bring out my two, that's six. Six times three, 18. That's going to be 21. And then we have 21 times three is 63. That's 63. And 63 times 3 is going to be 189. And 189 minus 9 is 180. Or negative 9 plus 189 is 180. 
So alpha of x, or not alpha of x, but alpha of 3 equals 180. I put that on the line right there. Now it says, uh, write an expression that represents the width of a rectangle uh, with length x minus 4 in the area of 2x squared minus 13x plus 24x squared minus 18x plus 8. Now, the area of a rectangle is length times width. So what we're going to do is still synthetic division. All right, it says write an expression, so we're going to use synthetic division. I want to use 4. All right, if I take this x minus 4, set it equal to 0, x is 4. And then I write my coefficients 2, negative 13, 24, negative 18, and 8. 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. All right, cool. So now, bring down my 2. 2 times 4 is 8. Negative 13 plus 8 is negative 5. That's going to be negative 20. Negative 5 times 4 is negative 20. 24 minus 20 is 4. 4 times 4 is 16. Negative 18 plus 16 is going to be uh, negative 2. And negative 2 times 4 is negative 8, which is 0. So there's no remainder. So how do we write this? Uh, we go down 1 degree. Remember, you go down one degree, so if this was to the fourth, and this is x cubed, x squared, x, and the constant. So you have the expression is going to be um, 2x squared minus 5x squared. I'm sorry, 2x cubed. I just wrote it down there. Look, I wrote it. 2x cubed minus 5x squared plus 4x minus 2. There we go right there. Alright. Now, right here it says performed the indicated operation. So we're going to add like terms right here. So x cubed is the only one. Right here we have x squared. That's the only x squared. So plus x squared. Then we have 3x and negative 3x. With negative 3x plus 3x cancels. And then we have 4 minus 4, which cancels as well. Over here, distribute the negative. So you have 5y cubed minus 2y squared minus 1 minus y squared plus 2y plus 3. All right, distribute the negative. Now, 5y cubed is only 1. Negative 2y squared minus y squared is a negative 3y squared. Um, now, the y, negative 2y is the only 1. And negative 1 plus 3 is going to be 2. All right, again, distribute the negative right here. So 2x squared minus 3x plus 5 minus 3x cubed minus 5. See, that becomes negative, that becomes negative. All right, plus th that negative has nothing to do with this. See, it's a plus. 4x minus 6 plus 2x squared. So now, negative 3x cubed is the only cube. Then I have, let's look at the squares. 2x squared plus 2x squared is 4x squared. And then my single x term, negative 3x plus 4x is going to be uh, 1x. And 5 minus 5 is 0 minus 6 is minus 6. All right, we go. Ooh, multiply. Right here, I like to turn these problems into two multiplication problems. So I have x cubed times 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. And then I have 4 plus 4. Oops, let's, let's add that plus right there. There we go. So plus 4 times 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. So here we go. You get um, 2x to the fifth. Um, 
right here I multiply those two then I multiply right here to get positive 3x to the fourth and I multiply right here to get negative 2x cubed then over here I get 8x squared plus 12x minus 8 now combine like terms x to the fifth is only one then we have x to the fourth plus 3x to the fourth minus 2x cubed Oh, that's it plus 8x squared plus 12x minus 8 there it goes okay all right on the back expand we're going to use binomial exp exp uh, expansion right here this is the fourth so real quick let me go down let me go to another page i'm just going to write it out the triangle so you can see it you have one one and one this is your zero row all right first row second row, third row, degree of four. That's what we want to get to. So we got one, three, one, one, four, four, one. I'm sorry, one, two, one. Man, look at me making mistakes. One, three, one, one, two, one. <laughs> one plus one is two. Now you have one, this is three, this is three, that's one. And you have one, four, six, Four, one. So there, there's our coefficient, one, four, six, four, one. So if you remember, oops, didn't mean to throw that in there. We're gonna use one, four, six, four, and one. So one, four. Actually, I'm gonna make this bigger so I can have more space. One, four, six, four, one. There we go. Six, four, one. Bear with me, guys. I'm trying to make something happen. All right, one, four, six, four, one. All right, now I'll write all these again. So, 2n, 2n. Actually, hold on. I need to add um, lines so I can be a little more neater. So we're right on our first term 2n and since this is the fourth power we're gonna go right here four Ooh, let's make that thinner i don't like these thick lines guys sorry all right four three two one zero and then we're going to have the second term one so one one, 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 and we have zero, one, two, three, four. So here we go. Let's go ahead and solve. Right here, we have one times two n to the fourth. So two to the fourth is 16. n to the fourth is n to the fourth times one. Then we have four times two n cubed, or well, two cubed is eight. N cubed is n cubed times one. One to the first is one. Then we have six times two n squared, so that's four n squared times one. One squared is one. Then four times two n times one, then one times one times one. So anyway, to finish it up, here's what we got. All right, one times 16 n to the fourth is 16 n to the fourth. Um, four times eight is gonna be 32 n cubed. Six times four is 24 n squared. Four times two is eight n and one so here's our answers right here um 16 n to the fourth plus 32 n cubed um plus 24 n squared plus 8 n plus one there we go right there binomial expansion 
here is paying this one, x minus 3 cubed. Again, if I go back to the Pascal triangle, we're going to use this rule this time. 1, 3, 3, 1. All right, so let me go back. All right, 1, 3, 3, 1. So we have... Actually, let me draw my lines. 1, 3, 3, 1, so 1. Three, three, one. So, all right, now here we go. So now I write X first term. So this is cube. So we go three, two, one, zero, and then the negative three. And then we're going to go 0, 1, 2, 3. So here we go. 1 times x cubed times negative 3 to the 0. That's 1 times x cubed times 1. Anything to the 0, guys, is 1. So then we have 3 times x squared times negative 3. Then we have 3 times x times negative 3 squared is 9. Then we have one times one times negative three cubed is negative 27. So when we simplify this, this is x cubed. Three times negative three is negative nine x squared. Three times nine is gonna be 27 x. And then one times one times negative 27 is negative 27. So we have x cubed minus nine x squared plus 27 x minus 27. All right, use a uh, long division right here. I'm gonna pop this out real quick. Um, we have x minus one divided by nine x squared minus seven x plus three. So I want this x to be nine x squared. So off to the side, I take nine x squared divided by x. I'm left with nine x. So 9x times x is 9x squared, and 9x times negative 1 is negative 9x. Now, don't forget your parentheses right here. And subtract. So when I do that, this is gonna that makes that negative, and then that makes that a positive right there. So that's negative 7 plus 9 is going to be 2x. Now I bring down my 3. Now, I want x to be 2x, so if I take 2x off to the side, divided by x, that's 2. So, 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times negative 1 is negative, negative 2, excuse me. So, now, I'm going to put my negative, alright, distribute that, and then that becomes a plus, so we get 5. So, the remainder here is 5. So what we have here is when you write the answer out, is there a line there? Yep. So when we write this out, we're going to have 9x plus 2 plus, because this is positive, 5 divided by x minus 1. Alright, synthetic division. Alright, so... Now, man, let's go ahead and look over here at number 13. Number 13, uh, use synthetic division. Uh, it says use synthetic division. Oh, well, let's see. I don't have to use synthetic division for this one. Use synthetic division on the ones with a linear divider. Yeah, that's not linear. That's a quadratic. So let's go ahead and do that one. Um, here's what we got. For this one, we're going to do uh, t squared minus 3t divided by I'm sorry that last part, man 
Alright, uh, TQ minus 7T squared plus 12T. Alright, so what we got right here is um, T squared. We want that to be the same as T cubed. So over here to the side, let's see, T cubed divided by T squared. Cancel out two of those, so I'm left with T. So t times t squared is t cubed, and t times negative three t is going to be negative three t squared. So now put your parentheses and subtract. That cancels, and you end up with a positive three right here. That makes that positive, right? That negative distributed makes that positive. So you have negative seven t squared plus three t squared. And that's going to be negative four t squared. Then I bring down positive 12t. So now I want this t squared um, to be 12, I'm sorry, to be negative 4t squared. So the t squared is canceled, I'm left with negative 4. So negative 4 times t squared is going to be negative t, negative 4t squared, excuse me. And negative four times negative three t is going to be a positive twelve t. So now the negative makes that positive, so they cancel, and the negative makes this negative. So they subtract to get zero. So there's our answer: t minus four. Like so. Alright, now four more. Yeah, four more. Um division right here. So this one, that's linear. Uh now I'ma still use two one. Yep, I'ma still use long division right here. So I have three t plus two divided by six x squared plus 7x minus 6. Oh, that should be x or t again. Sorry, guys. My mistake. Now I want 3x to be 6x squared. So if I take 6x squared and divide it by 3x, all right, we're going to write it 2x. So 1 cancels. And then 6 divided by 3 is 2. So 2x. We have 2x times 3x is 6x squared. And 2x times x is going to be 4x. When I subtract those, that cancels and then that becomes a negative. So that gives me 3x. Bring down to negative 6. So now I want 3x. They're going to 3x, well that's 1 time. So 1 times 3x is 3x. And one times two is positive two. Distribute negative that cancels. And then right here, negative six plus or excuse me, negative six minus two is negative eight. So this is our remainder. Alright, so the final answer is two x plus one minus eight over three x plus two. All right, moving along. Right here, we have synthetic division because that's linear. All right, so right here, I'm gonna make that a negative seven. Set it equal to zero is negative seven. And then we have five. There's no x to the fourth, so I'm gonna put zero negative three x cubed there's no x squared there's no um single x and three again there's no x to the fourth so that's zero there's no x squared so that's zero and there's no x to the first all right anyway right now i'm a five five times negative seven is negative 35 all 
right. Negative 35. And zero gives me negative 35. Negative 35 times, um, I'll put 30, sorry about that. Times negative 7 is going to give me 245. All right, negative three plus 245 is going to be 242. And 242 times uh, negative seven is going to be negative 169, excuse me, 1,694. So that's negative 1,694. And then we're gonna multiply that by negative seven. Man, this got big, quick. It's 11,858. All right, so let me spread this out real quick. All right, put my zero back and my three. So this is 11,858. And then we're going to multiply that by negative seven. And we get good. That's very six. <laughs> negative eight three thousand and six and three minus that is going to be um negative eight three thousand and three. All right. So anyway, we got a remainder right here. So we have five x to the fourth. Remember, this is five. So go down one. Minus 35x cubed plus 242x squared minus 1694x um, plus 1,108. 11,858 minus 83,000 and 3 divided by x plus 7. All right. Now, this one linear as well. So, negative five now I have one three six and six okay so I'm gonna go there four three two that works right now my one one time negative five is negative five six minus five is one one time negative five is negative five six minus five is one so what we have here is x cubed plus x squared plus 1x. Final answer, no. Oh, actually I'll take that back. That's the remainder. So let me fix that. Plus one over, that's plus five, there we go. That's my remainder guys. I'm tripping. All right, last problem right here. Y squared plus four. I want to do long division on this one. Four, three. Mm. No, I'm good. All right, here we go. So y squared, I want it to be y to the fourth. So I'm going to go y squared. That's y to the fourth. Y squared times four is going to be four y squared. That cancels. That becomes a minus. So we have five y squared, bring down my four. Now, how do I turn this y squared to five y squared? I'm going to multiply by five. Five times y squared is five y squared. Five times four is going to be positive 20. Now that cancels, this negative turns that into a negative, so four minus 20 is going to be negative 16. So you have y squared plus five minus 16 over at y squared, oops, over y squared. Plus four. Sorry about that. All right. So that's the final answer. Man, that concludes this video, man. 29 minutes. Hope you help. Talk to you later. Catch you later.